Hey guys, this is Rosie. It's the week of September 17th, and this is CNG's Weekly Goods. Coming out this week, grab some friends and check out the highly anticipated Torchlight 2. Skate around futuristic Tokyo, spray painting and causing havoc on the HD remake of Jet Set Radio. 20 Years of Kirby is being celebrated with the Kirby Dream Collection. And of course, there's the big title everyone is making room for, Borderlands 2. Look for our review coming up on cgmagazine.ca. Greg Zuchuk and Ray Mazaika, co-founders of BioWare way back in 1995, are leaving the studio to try something else for a change. Muzaika plans to mentor the upcoming generation of entrepreneurs, stating, My next chapter will likely focus on an entirely new industry, something exciting, different, and frankly, downright scary. Zuchak has stated that a fading passion for the video game industry sparked his decision, saying, I've reached an unexpected point in my life where I no longer have the passion that I once did for the company, for the games, and for the challenge of creation. Who knows what this means for Bioware, but I'm sure the studio is sad to see these guys go. Now on its sixth edition, the always popular Humble Indie Bundle is back. For a little more than five bucks, you can buy some of the best independent games and their soundtracks that this year has brought us. The organization has risen more than $19.5 million for various charities through the selling of these games. Microsoft has renewed its trademark on the, at one point, popular fighting game series Killer Instinct. Who knows what the company is planning to do with the franchise, or it's just renewing it because its trademark was expiring. There has been talk of a Killer Instinct 3, but the general consensus is that Microsoft is just protecting its rights. I guess I won't be suiting up as Orchid anytime soon, or Spinal. Arma developer Bohemia Interactive has released more statements about their developers, who are currently sitting in Greek custody under allegations of espionage. The charges are being called false and without substance, creative director Jay Crow said. We sincerely hope that the whole situation is no more than an unfortunate and deep misunderstanding. As a refresher, last week the Greek police confirmed the Arma devs had been charged with espionage and were found with audio and visual footage of military facilities. Over in Japan, we have the Tokyo Game Show going on. The show is just starting, but our first piece of news from the East is about a new PlayStation 3. Now, on our third iteration of the system, the new PS3, being dubbed the Super Slim, will come in 250 and 500 gigabyte SKUs, and will run $250 and $300 when it drops at the end of October. Look for our continuing coverage of TGS this week on cgmagazine.ca. Here at the office, we're always looking for something to read. Be sure to send us any questions or letters you may have. You can leave them in the comments, or you can send them to letters at cgmagazine.ca. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Be sure to come back next week for another edition of CNG's Weekly Goods.